Hi, uh, today I'm going to be taking you through Radeon Pro Renders VR support and 360 pano panoramic images for YouTube. So I've got the scene set up and all I've done is created a camera called Camera 2. It's placed right there in my scene. So with the camera selected at default, our settings for this scene I've made my iterations to 100 and I've set the preset to high and I've left the camera at default for now because I just want to show what the differences are so with the camera selected let's hit our render view button or view render view button and under render render we want to render through camera 2 which is next to the boat there okay so all we get is that just a normal angled render so let's uh, let's cancel this render and all we have to do is change our camera type in the render settings to spherical panorama now we've got a couple other options here but it all depends on what you're going to do we're just going to be doing a 360 immersive video for YouTube so for this we'll just be using spherical panorama and then when we render through camera 2 We should see it now wrapping around the entire scene. Okay, there we go. Just escape this to show you some of the other modes. The spherical panorama stereo would be for VR headsets and see if I render if I render from camera 2 it's now splitting it up to my left and right eye and this was the same for the rest of the options so let's just escape this okay and we can change it to our cube map go to render render camera 2 and you can see it's split it up into six different groups um, this would be the sides the top the bottom and the other two sides so we can escape that what I'm going to do is just set it to spherical panorama and I'm going to let this render and get a nice clean render from this so I'll just pause and come back when it's done Okay, so once you're happy with your render, um, we can see it's nice and clean. We can just go and file save our image out or you can locate the image through your project file. Um, I'm going to save this to a different directory so for this I'll just go save image and I'll go to my C drive and under 360 videos I'll just name it underscore 360 and I'll save it as a JPEG okay so now that I've got that image there I will take that into After Effects and put it into a timeline for say 30 seconds or however long you want your video to be then you export it as a mp4 
Now After Effects has a bit of an issue doing MP4s or it actually it can't. So you need to have Adobe Media Encoder to do this. Um, another workaround is just to use Premiere Pro which can do MP4s. So once you've exported your video and I've put mine in the same location as my 360 vids local to C360 vids uh, now we can convert this so go to special media metadata injector which I downloaded off of um, YouTube's help videos and help or support um, column and I'll put a link to this in the description so first thing you want to do is to go and open your file and in 360 I will select it so all I want to have ticked is my video is spherical and I'll inject data and it will put out a name with it'll put out the same name but it'll add underscore injected just hit save and there we go now we have our injected file and this is the file that you need to upload to YouTube bear in mind that YouTube does take around 15 to 30 minutes to convert the file so don't be alarmed when it's not working Okay, so I hope this was helpful, and cheers.